All right, okay, we're gonna go ahead and start in just a few minutes. Make sure you have a couple blocks. Introduce yourselves to your neighbors. Welcome, welcome. Check one, two, check. Okay, we are going to go ahead and get started. <sighs> Let's see here. All right, so I know we have a few people here for the very first time, so welcome, round of applause. So my name is Joshua. It's a pleasure to be here with you tonight. Happy uh, Monday. Mon I feel like it's Monday. Is it Monday? Okay. I go seven days a week, so it's all the same. If you get up, you go. Just get moving. Um, so in the summer, this is kind of like how I like to have it. We call it tropical. So doors open, humidifier is on. Um, possibly if there's anything 
um, going on where you just need to kind of hang out in child's pose or sukhasana, seated, simple seated posture, feel free to do that, right? Um, sometimes we get we get caught up uh, thinking that we got to keep up with something, someone else. And the best thing to do is just to where you are right now and start there, right? Kind of, I was talking to a friend about social media, and it's like, yeah, it's kind of messing people's heads up a little bit because it's like you compare yourself to not like your but like, you know, a million and some of those you've never met. And, and you look at that, it's the easiest time to be yourself because you have infinite knowledge, but it's also the hardest time to be yourself because you put yourself out there and you're not to have like a couple of your good friends comment back at you. It's going to be like people you never heard of before. So sometimes we forget that there's something special inside of us and rather than me just talk, let's go ahead and bring this into a practice. So just go ahead and find your, your seat tonight. I love that, you know, every practice, this is where we find it. You sit down. And feel your abdominal muscles kind of hold the organs in. And feel your spine grow tall and your shoulders grow broad. Sometimes you try to turn something on and you realize it's not plugged in, it has no power. It's useless. It's good for nothing. And that's how it goes when we don't connect to the source of our inner power or the inner warrior.
like the brain needs oxygen for the tissue to stay alive. Just breathe this breath of life into the brain as well. And breathe, go. And then reach your arms up a little bit higher. This time, just kind of open the eyes up. The high namaskar. So when you have your palms here, you're, you're kind of saluting the divine. You, you talk about your higher self. Well, sometimes this is your higher self. So you're connecting this to your higher self. And you breathe in here. Let's go ahead and bring your higher self down to where you are. Good. And then see if you can just kind of flow the hands up. I don't know if we have some room. So let's do it this way. Go ahead and just breathe in. Breathe in. And breathe go. So we had to kind of learn this one, the movement of prana. So just kind of breathe in. And breathe go. Good. And just kind of like rinse the inner body again. Breathe in. Ah. And breathe go. Ah. Beautiful. Again, breathe in. It's like you're at the river and you're washing your face. Beautiful. Again, breathe in. Ah, breathe go. So good. Once more. Breathe in. Ah, breathe go. Good. And now just go ahead and walk your hands right where you are, all the way down onto your stomach. Square your shoulders broad and just lift the chest. Strong, strong in your back. Good, and then lower down. Bring your legs together and lift again, Cobra Bhujangasana. Good, and lower down. Again, once more here, lift. And lower. Good, breathe in. And now press into your hands then to your knees. Curl the toes under, sit into child's pose, balasa. Go ahead and just breathe here tonight. <clears throat> yeah. And just like a child, find the curiosity of a child, the optimism of a child, the positivity of a child, the newness the child, the openness. Ah, good. And then let's just go ahead and flow here a little bit. So come back up into a table. And then all the way down, low chaturanga. And then when you lift up in cobra, see if you can press off the ten fingertips. So you're just lifting. So the fingertips, huh? Good. And then come back down. Good. Secure the palm and then lift up cobra again. And then find tabletop into child's pose, balas, balas. Good. Just kind of satiate the breath deep into the body. Ah. Good. And then again, move back into tabletop. All the way down, low chaturanga. Good. Lift the heel of the palms, cobra, fingertips. And lower back down. Full hands, cobra upward. And then come into tabletop. This time in tabletop, you're just going to kind of loosen the spine. And you're kind of concaving your lower back. And you're just walking the hands out into heart posture. Anahatasana. Just kind of breathe here. And then just go ahead and look at your hands and just kind of walk both palms over to your left side. And just breathe. From heart posture. Good. And then find your center and come over to the other side. Good. And just kind of work some breath into your side body. Yes. Good, deep breath in, and deep breath good. Good. And then find your center again once more. 
Good. And let's come back into a plank position. So we're going to come into a plank. So you're just going to lift your knees up. Round your spine and kind of pull your chest muscles together. And just kind of hold the abdominals up and strong. Good. And now open your fingers wide so you feel the weight of each fingertip connecting to the floor. Yeah. So you're not just in your wrist. And then you're going to come all the way down into your low chaturanga. All the way down. And your legs come together, untuck your toes. Good. And then lift cobra upward facing. And this time as you pass through tabletop, roll over the toes, downward facing. Ardo Mukha Svanasana. Good. And deep breath in here. And deep breath go. Just open your fingers strong. Good. If your elbows are bent, use some tricep. Deep breath in. And deep breath go. Good. Deep breath in. And deep breath go. Good. And just kind of melt down the lower back into the heels. Into the heels. Good. Deep breath in. And deep breath go. Good. See if you can just go ahead and elevate your left heel up. Just kind of inspire the heel up. Watch the sconces around the room. If you have some humidifiers, good. Breathe. And you're just kind of scissoring the legs. So the, the right heel is melting down and the left heel is lifting up. It's just an extension of the breath. And then release this and then come to the other side. So the right heel comes up and the left heel melts down. Good. Deep breath in here. And deep breath go. Good. Release your foot. Come into a high plank. A high plank. This time when you're in your high plank, you want to find your tippy toes. So your toes, you're almost like right on the top of your toes, like right there. But your hands are so wide and your navel is so strong. You're just light as a feather. And then you're going to come halfway down. And then come up or halfway up. And then pass through tabletop or roll over your toes, downward facing. Good. Deep breath in here. Just kind of make a little sound. Ah, good. Look at your toes and walk your hands back to your feet. Back to your feet. Good. Find your shin bones. Halfway lift. Good. And find your hip bones all the way full. All the way full. Good. Let's go here a couple more rotations. Halfway lift. Lengthening. Decompressing. Lifting the navel. Chest forward. Hips backward and full. There's always a connection of movement and breath in your vinyasa. Again, halfway lift. A little more length and a little bit more fold. Good. Good. This time we're going to come into chair. Utkadasana. So you're right at your brow. Good. And your elbows are wide. And you're just going to kind of bring your toes and heels together. And just kind of like lower down. Breathe, breathe, yeah. And then square your shoulders broad, yeah. Deep breath in. And deep breath go. Good. Yeah. And then you're just going to go ahead and stand all the way up. Breathe in, breathe in. And then mountain pose, breathe all the way down. Good. And bring your toes and heels together. Open the space between the toes. Backbone straight, shoulders broad. Good, breathe. Yeah, so you're the mountain. I think in the Game of Thrones, there's a guy called the mountain, right? You're the mountain. He's the mountain. Some of you guys know. Good. And then just go ahead and walk forward. Good. Find the front of your mat and just step tall all the way up. Good. And fold all the way down. Halfway lift. All the way forward. Beautiful. Again, halfway lift. Step your right leg back. Runner's lunge. Runner's lunge. Good. And just kind of keep the weight to your fingers, shoulders broad, and just kind of move here freely. Sometimes we get kind of stuck in one method and we throw the goal away when really the method is no good. The route didn't work. The relationship didn't work. The idea didn't work. But then we throw away the important stuff. 
So you're just going to kind of find your own way here. Good. And then when you're satisfied, just go ahead and set this knee down. And you're just going to feel a little lift in your chest, broadness in your shoulders, strength in your core, and just lift up, lift up. Good. And just go ahead and kind of open your arms. You're going to have to work with your neighbors. Work with your neighbors. Good. And then bring your palms behind you. Now very softly lace the fingers, melt the shoulders down your back, and just rise your chest. So some of you guys have like a lot of muscle here. You don't want to overdo it. So you just want to kind of like let the shoulders soften. Good. Breathe. And then release. So the hands are going to go right in front of your foot. Lift your back knee. So you're feeling the weight come to your front foot. You're going to kind of rock back. And then look, you're just going to levitate this back leg. Light as a feather. Step the feet together. No sound. Halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. All the way fold. Very good, yes. Again, halfway lift. The left leg, big bold step back. Good. And just kind of move, move freely, yes. Move freely. Ah, good. And when you're satisfied here, set the knee down. Arms come up in two columns. Good, reach. Ah, good. And then open, open. Ah, good. And then bring your chest down. Find your grip behind you. Now, you already did that one, so do the other one. Opposite thumb on top, opposite pinky below. Rise the chest. Good. Shoulder blades broad, belly in. Good. Ah. And then free your, your hands. Frame your forward leg. So your fingers, I like to kind of use my fingertips right in front of my toe. And feel your core and contract so you'll be able to balance your back leg. Lift your back knee up, okay? And then you're just going to rock back. Open your forward toes so you have a good foundation. And then you can just bring your feet together. Halfway lift. Beautiful. All the way full. Ah, chair. Ooh, it's awesome. Lotus mudra. Shoulders broad. Belly in. See if you can bring your toes and heels together so your legs become the leg. Good, strong. And just kind of open the shoulders broad. And then just add some art. Like William Butler Yeats says, it's not just the bread on the table, but it's a flower too. This is the flower. Good. And then we're going to go to Utkatasana 2, sweep back, tippy toes, tippy toes, tippy toes. Tippy toes. So you're lifting your heels and your hips come down strong. Good. That's the levitation. Remember, that's when your intention is stronger than default. Good. And then come back to lotus. All the way up. Good. And then ground the heels. Look at the hands. Breathe in. Hold the breath for five, four, three, two, one. Fold all the way down. Good. Halfway lift. Right leg, big step back. Runner's lunge. Good. And this time, we're going to keep the back knee off the floor and gather your forearms. Easy lunge. So if your chest is kind of crowding up, you want to lift your chest, pull your shoulders back. Find your center of gravity. Strong as can be. Good. And then just send your hands back. And then one fluid motion, you're going to kiss the lower, the back knee to the floor. Find your hands. Lace your fingers as you come up. Biceps to the ears. Come out of your chest. So your lower back is very neutral. Ah. Good. And now open your hands. Pull them apart. Good. And then lace your fingers behind you. Cross your thumbs. Rise the heart. Good. And then release your grip. We're going to go just a little baby monkey posture. Good. So you're just kind of bringing some awareness to your hamstring. We'll get back to that one later. Okay? Walk forward you're coming here. Pads of the fingers in front of your foot. Okay? Lift your back knee. Good. Remember, levitate. Feet together. Good. Your forms at your thigh bone.
the Nasu and the Lord of his or her strength is actually the in activity. Come back and cooperate with your neighbor and then just come back. Other grip. Rise your chest. Good. Melt the shoulders down the back. Breathe. Breathe. Free your grip. Work this forward knee into a straighter position. Good. Just breathe into your hamstring really well. And then come back low. Stay low. Stay low. Hands in front. Pads the fingers on the floor. Lift your back knee. Strong core. Levitate. Levitate. Good. Halfway lift. Hands down. Feet back. Feet back. Take a vinyasa. Take a vinyasa. Good. Remember, tabletop upward. Good. Pass through tabletop downward. Good. Deep breath in here. Deep breath go. Beautiful. Double leg lift. Left heel comes up. Left heel comes up. Good. And release. Good. Right heel high. So high. Good. See if you can glide your knee through your ribs and just hover the knee in between both arms. Good. Just hold it here. Hover the knee between both arms. Good. And then come back up. This time with a little bit of momentum, you're going to step right through. Step right through. Good. Now your back foot's going to come over. Good. Ten toes on the earth. Two heels on the mat. Come up. Zero. One. Grab your elbows.
So if that's where I'm standing, I'm half of a single leg. Those of you who have been down by half of a million, you guys are so good to me. This is kind of a double leg lift. Feet together, double leg lift. comes down, and then you say you're sweeping the fingers and you're fishing down on the side of the board, and then you come around to side the ankle. So your ankle aligned, so you're pressing down through the left, your right arm, lifting up through the left shoulder. Got it. Good. Now wrap your ankle around your back. Good. Find your right hip bone. Perfect. So you have a block, 
out to my little brother, Pedro Garcia. Take your right foot to walk outside. Take your left foot to walk outside. So your block should be like a landscape. Whereas you have foot, get flat, flat, landscape, portrait one landscape, okay? Good. And then just maybe two blocks. Yes,
a lot of feet to kind of walk back to the front of the room. Let's kind of open the feet wide here. Let's kind of open the feet wide. Uh, let's take the shoulder blades and kind of tuck them all over under. Yeah. And let your palms kind of stay up for receiving and down for grounding. Bring your chin to your throat so that your neck is kind of long. And feel the feet and the ten toes. And thank you, speak all the places that they take you. And feel the feet take your ease with this posture. That's awesome. And allow your ankles to soften.